what I'm going to be sharing is a series that I'm going to be starting with today. Because I believe this will chart our, the next months and years of our life. The title of what I'm going to be sharing is Understanding the Potency of Faith. Understanding the Potency of Faith. So that we may understand what, how the, the power of faith is and how potent faith really is. Potency or, the, or potent, it simply means the available power that is intrinsic to a certain thing. Like faith as we know it is simply believing. But re really, there is so much power that is released in our life when we understand and we operate by faith. And so many Christians, they missed out a lot of opportunities of breakthrough in their lives because first and foremost, they don't understand what faith really is. So understanding the potency of faith. Faith is powerful. And it's some, for many of us, it may seem like a cliche already. It's something like, ah, yeah, I know that. I know that faith is powerful. But really, do you understand it? Do you know it? And why is it that if faith is powerful, then why are so many Christians powerless? If faith is so powerful, then I, why are we living a powerless life? Simply because so many people, they missed out on the understanding of what faith really is. In Romans chapter 10 verse 12, in the New King James Version, it's written there, For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. So that, the, that verse is telling us that it is the same God, Satan, in the same God. The God of the Jews, that means the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God of David, the God of Solomon, is the same God we have right now. And that same God who blessed Abraham, the same God who rescued Noah, the same God who raised up Lazarus, the same God who blessed David and gave him the power, the strength to kill Goliath, the same God who protected and blessed Solomon is the same God that we have. Are you following me? The all-powerful God in the Old Testament is the same God that we have right now. So there is no distinction. There is no distinction between the God of the old and the God of the new. It's the same God. His power did not change. His ability did not change. There is no distinction. There is no difference. The God who prospered the Jews is also the same God that will prosper us. The God that is favoring Israel is the same God that will also favor us. Sa una mangod, ang ilang una una, um, when they say Greek, that means you are not a Jew. And for every Jew, they see themselves as the people of God, as a people of a very special breed. But and they always think uh, if you're a, if you're not a Jew, you're a second class citizen. So for Jews, they see themselves as higher class citizens. Because they are highly favored. But really, no. The reality is the same God who is blessing them, the same God who is giving them favor, is the same God that will also bless and favor us. For the same God, there is no distinction. The same Lord over all is rich. God is rich. That means He can provide everything you need. He has all the source of healing he has all the source of power. He has the source of capital for your business. He has the source of a wealth to pay off your debt. He has the source of love to bring restoration to your family. He has the source of wisdom to get you out of your problem, out of your situation. He is the God who is the source of all. He is rich and He is available to everyone who call upon Him. Whether Jew or Greek, if you call upon the Lord, Whatever God has, He can give to you. If He gave it before, He can do it again in your life. So in other words, truth is absolute. 
People may say, you no, know, truth is um, relative. What's true to you may not be true to me. There are things, if it is a small truth, yeah, that can be true. But when we talk about the truth, the truth, Jesus Christ, truth is absolute. That means it is universal. If it works in other places, it will work here. If it worked before, it will work today. So wherever you are, whoever you are, the truth of the Word of God will deliver the same effect. The truth of the Word. If this worked in the days of Abraham, if this worked in the, in the days where Jesus was walking on this earth, that same truth, come on, say to me, same truth. Ang maong kamatuuran, it will also have its effect right now. So if God can heal the sick before supernaturally, God can still do it again. If God can open the waters before, God can do it again. It can be literal, it may not be literal, but whatever your situation is, God can do a miracle sa imong kinabuhi. And so you may say, hey, Pastor, if that is true, then why am I not experiencing that truth? If God heals, then why am I not experiencing that healing? If God is love, why, why am I bankrupt with love? If God is all-powerful, then why am I not feeling His power? If God is protector, then why am I not feeling His protection? I tell you this, there's no problem with the power of God. It did not run out. The problem is, there's a limitation of the manifestation. The power of God is intact. Come on, say it with me, intact. But the problem is the manifestation. The manifestation, ang pag-manifest, ang pagdayag sa gahom sa imong kinabuhi, mo na nagkulang. Ang gahom niya, wala nag-usap, pero ang pag-manifest sa iyang power sa imong life, that is what's missing. That is the problem. And what limits the manifestation of the power of God is the limit of our understanding of the truth of God's Word. That is why very important in studying the Word, reading the Word, listening to the Word of God, because the more we hear and understand and comprehend the truth of God's Word, that's when the limits of our understanding are broken. So what limits the manifestation of the power of God is not God, but our understanding of the truth. Of our understanding of the operation of the things of God. Because there are principles that governs the spiritual world that will manifest in the physical world when we understand it. And that is the word of the Lord. The Word of God is full of truths and principles. All the answers to your problems financially, physically, spiritually, emotionally, whatever problems you may have, whatever circumstance you may be in, all the answers are here. This is like the answers to all the test questions of life. This is the master list of all the most difficult questions of life. But the problem is we don't know because we don't understand. And the reason why we don't understand because we don't read it, we don't spend time to read it, we don't even spend time to listen to it. But I tell you this, this is the key to your prosperity. This is the key to your healing. This is the key to your breakthrough. This is the key to your restoration. This is the key to your victory. It's hidden in the Word of God. But we don't understand it. We don't even know it. So the manifestation of the power of God is limited in our understanding of the truth. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says, My people are destroyed because lack of knowledge. Knowledge of what? Knowledge of the truth. 
And this is even true in the physical, in the natural realm. When you go into business and if you don't know anything about business, you are just burning money. Is that true? Musulod ka og car repair business, you don't even know how to repair a car. Dela maghayra ko mga mechanic. O sige mag mechanic ang kabalo mo repair then pwede giila na day ka because you don't know even anything about it anything that you will do without any knowledge it's a recipe for destruction a recipe for disaster the same is true in the realm of the supernatural in the realm of the spirit when you lack knowledge on how to manage your marriage how to manage your family what it is to be a, a good father a good husband a good son or a good child or a good businessman because I tell you, there are many business principles here that can also help you financially, help you prosper. And the, the master business or the, the richest man that has ever lived. You know, right now, we have so many books about success. You know, there are so many books that are written by very famous and very rich authors of how they became successful and they're teaching their principles. Um, we have ebooks about that. We have books about that and we can buy from it. Because they always say, don't learn from people who only teach you theory, who don't even experience what they're talking about. Like, magpatudlo ba kaglangoy sa taong dili kabalo mo langoy? Mahi kayo mo ingon ng theory, inani paglangoy. Mahi ni purma sa paglangoy. Inani ka mo dive. Because what's the point of hearing from someone who will say, this is how you will become rich. This is how you become successful. This is how you manage your business. And then you ask him, do you have a business? Then why are you teaching me? You don't even have a business. I have a business. Is your business booming? What is your experience to back up whatever you're teaching? My point is, if you really want to succeed in business in whatever aspect of life, learn from the best and the, mo the wealthiest man that has ever lived. And who is that man? King Solomon. King Solomon is the richest man that has ever walked on this earth. No wisdom can compare. Even the wisdom of this age can compare to the wisdom of Solomon. And all his secrets is written here especially in the book of Proverbs, in the life of Solomon in First and Second Kings, you can see there the principles of the Word of God, the principles of God in action in the life of Solomon that made him who he was. So people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. This is the answer to your life's problems. Why have I said that? Because we have seen this work in our life as well. Are you following me? Isaiah 5 verse 13 says, Therefore my people have gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. You're in captive sa utang because you have no knowledge. You're in captive. You're oppressed with sickness because you lack knowledge of the truth. You're oppressed with depression. You're oppressed with emotional sickness. You're oppressed with so many things in your life because you lack the knowledge of the truth of God. And who is that truth? John 14 verse 6. Jesus said, I am the way. Jesus did not say, I am one of the ways because there, are, there is no other way. I am the way or the only way. I am the truth and the only truth. And I am the life and the only life. Apart from Jesus, we could not make this. Apart from Jesus, your marriage will not be successful. Successful. Apart from Jesus, your business would not succeed. Apart from Jesus, everything you do will be in vain. That's why we need Jesus. We need the way. We need the truth. We need the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus. So there are many things, actually all things, that Jesus obtained for us. Daghan kayog na akang Jesus karon ngayang giandam para natong tanan. 
And so the question is, if God has my healing, if Jesus has my breakthrough, then why am I not getting it, Pastor? How do I access whatever Jesus has prepared for me? How do I access the healing? How do I access the provision? How do I access the all things above all things and all his supplies for my life? I want you to know that all that Jesus has to offer us can only be delivered by Lazada. By Lazada? No? By Shopee? By Flash Express? By LBC? No. Everything that is deposited in heaven, I, wa I want you to know this, daghan kayog mga truths and blessing ang giandam ang Lord nga naka-check out na delivery na like ulang. And what will deliver the blessings of God that is ready for us? Listen, all that Jesus offers can only be delivered by faith. Faith. Come on, shout it with me. Faith. faith. All that Jesus offers can only be delivered. Can you show that line, please? That quote that I gave you. All that Jesus offers us is delivered by faith. That's why faith is very powerful. It is the access to deliver everything that Jesus obtained for us. Jesus suffered on the cross that he may give us a way back to heaven. A way back to God the Father. Jesus did everything possible by dying on the cross for our sins to give us salvation. Romans 1 verse 16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation. For whom? For everyone who believes. In other words, if you can believe, then the salvation that Jesus got for us will be given to you. Kaning kaluwasan nga gi andam ni Jesus nga para sa tanan dili nimo ni maangkon kun dili nimo tuuhan. Because whatever gift that may be, it can never be yours until you receive it. Now, in this modern day of Lazada, Shopee, Temu, Shein, whatever, Shopee, online shopping, who among you have experienced nga nakadawat na ka o notice, ready for delivery, pero wa ni, wa ni mo nakuha, kay wa ni mo nabahiran, na return back to sender. Ayan na lang patasin mong kamot. No, worse kayo na ba nga? Naa na, Pero wani mo na ka, gideliver na, pero wani mo na angkot. It's as good as if wala na lang ipadala, may pagwa na lang ipadala, wala mo na yaponin mo na dawat. Anything that you did not receive can ever be yours. Salvation, it is already a done deal. Jesus died on the cross more than 2,000 years ago. He shed his blood. But if you don't believe that, that will never be yours. You cannot get it if you don't believe. If you don't believe that Jesus died for you, then his death, the power of resurrection will not be given to you. You have to believe. Say to me, believe. The power of God to salvation is given to everyone who believes. So everything Jesus has, he can give to you if you believe. Kabalo ba kayo son? Na ay sevenfold of inheritance Jesus obtained and He's preparing to give it to anyone who can believe. In Revelation 5 verse 12, it's written there, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Jesus received power. Say to me, power. He was given power. He was given riches. He was given wisdom. He was given strength, honor, 
glory and blessing. These seven things were given to Jesus. And Jesus is preparing to give it to everyone who is willing to believe. And what are these things? Power. Riches. Wisdom. Wisdom to solve your problems. Wisdom that will get you out of your debt. Get you out of your debt. Wisdom to solve whatever problems you may have. Strength. Strength to withstand persecutions. Strength to withstand all of life's problems. Honor. Glory. Or fame. Blessing. These seven things. Sevenfold inheritance of every disciple of Christ. These seven things are prepared for those who can believe. Can you believe it? Can you believe that God can give you this? And I tell you this, all of these are already in heaven. Salvation is already with Jesus. His power is already with Him. His riches, His wisdom, His strength, His honor, His glory, His blessing are all with Him. But listen, nothing comes down from heaven except by faith. Walay munaong gikan sa langit kung walay pagto. Kung dili nimo kayang tuuhan, walay power nga mutugpa din ha nimo. Walay riches, walay wisdom, walay strength, walay honor, walay glory, walay blessing nga moabot kung wala kung dili nimo kayang tuuhan. Salvation comes down just like salvation you have to believe it. Every provision is re in redemption is only deliverable by faith. Mark 9 verse 23. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, if you can believe, all things are possible. If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. And why is it there are so many impossible things in my life? Because you can't believe it. And believing is not a one-time thing. It's not during Sunday only. It's not during word time because your faith is being fed and you are like, wow, yes, Lord, I believe. There is a church, I believe. Pag uli, no? Getubang lang kag I don't believe anymore. I doubt already. Kadawat lang kag results sa imong laboratory. I think I can. I really, Lord? Really, Lord? Can you believe this? I mean, can you really heal me? Can you really get me out of this? Of this problem? Can you really provide for my needs? Can you really pay off my debt? Because it's easier said than done. Believing is not during times when you listen. It's every single moment of your life. Even if you're faced with difficulties, can you believe? Without faith, it is impossible for us to access our inheritance. Faith is the most potent force in the universe. Maunay pinaka grabbing gahom nga giandam sa gino access for every believer so that we can access the most potent source of power which is the power of God. If you can believe. Faith empowers us to operate in the realm of God. Faith empowers us to handle what only God can handle. Kung naakay pagtuo, kaya ni mong mo-operate sa realm sa gino. If naakay pagtuo, kaya ni mong i-handle ang mga butang na si Lord lang ang kayang mo handle. And that is why you cannot see the hand of God move in your life because you are not really believing. And this series, though this is just an introduction, this will help us understand. So, Pastor, how that will my faith increase? Because really the key of everything that we need in this life, everything we need from heaven will only come down by faith.
your healing for your cancer will only come down by faith. Your provision for your business will only come down by faith. Your restoration. All the answers in your life will only come down by faith. And that is why faith is actually a mystery. How will, not, how will that work, Pastor? You cannot explain it by math or by, by analysis. It just works. That's why it's a mystery. And very hard to grow something that you cannot explain. Very hard. Dali lang, like for example, yeah, uh, planting a tree. It's very easy to make it work if you understand the role of water that it will make it grow, the role of sunlight, the role of carbon dioxide, or I mean the role of, of oxygen and carbon dioxide, the role of nitrogen, the role of all the nutrients na naadin ha sa ground. All of these things come into play for a plant to grow. So when you understand that, you can operate. You will pour water because it's needed for photosynthesis. You make sure that the soil is, is um, fertile so that it will grow. Make sure that sunlight, because sunlight is needed for photosynthesis. So when you understand those principles, you can operate, you can do it, and then you say the results. You see the results because you understand. But unfortunately, faith does not work that way. Faith is not, uh, faith is equal to the, the square root of the 10 to the log n cube of everything of x and y. No, you cannot be like that way. So you cannot, you cannot understand it in layman's terms. And it's something like, just simply have to believe. Like for example, in medicine, when you're sick, you drink paracetamol. Why? Because this is the action of paracetamol. This will do this, bam, 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 bam. So you understand, so you drink. When you have infection, you drink antibiotics. Why? Because ang antibiotic mo na yung patay sa mga kagaw, as plain as it is. But there are deeper uh, ways for that to explain. But plainly speaking, it kills germs. And so, then now, why, how will faith pay my debt? I don't know. You just have to believe. And that is why it's hard because you just have to believe. Ang akong cancer, maayo. How? Mutura ko. Ha? Mutura ko. <laughs> you just have to believe. I tell you this. If you can believe, all things are possible. That woman who was bleeding for 12 years. I shared this story several weeks ago. That woman who was bleeding with 12 years, he just held on to Jesus because he believed, she believed. She believed, listen, she believed. She just believed that if I can hold on to Jesus, I will be healed. Look at that faith. Look at that faith. So when she held on to Jesus, Luya na sa, wa sa dugo, halos. Luspad na, gianemic nagmayo. Wa na himoglubin. Then he reached out to Jesus in the midst of the crowd. And when he, she touched Jesus, instantly she got her healed because she believed. And Jesus said, Who touched me? And they were like, do you mean, Lord, who touched you? There are many people who touched you. No, who touched me? Because this person, somebody touched me and this touch was different because I felt power leave me. I felt power leave my body. Why? Because it was a move of faith. Faith is about empowerment for victory. 
Listen. Faith is not a religious theory. It is a mystery of the kingdom. Faith is not a theory. It is not a topic during Sunday service, though it's a topic right now. But it's more than that. It is a mystery in the kingdom of God. That is why 1 Timothy 3.9 says, Holding the mystery of the faith with a pure conscience. Holding the mystery of the faith with a pure conscience. So, faith is a mystery. Because when you believe, God's answers come in different forms. It does not happen like, okay, Lord, if I believe, abriang langit karon, literally may na naog nga kwarta sa matubangan. Though God can do that if He wants to, but God's answers will come differently. This mystery, when you discover it, this secret will give your muscles or spiritual muscle, muscles strength. Money maghatag o kaisog, money maghatag ni mukusog. Faith is not a religious logic, it is a spiritual weapon. Why don't we all stand?